Let's examine key quotes relating to Mrs. Johnstone's character. This is, of course, the mother who has to make the heartbreaking decision to break up her two sons, Edward and Mickey, okay? So she has several aspects to her character. Of course, she shows how difficult life is for a single working class woman, but equally she exposes the deep class divisions that lay at the heart of England. And of course, also even still today, they do still lie at the heart of England, particularly for vulnerable single young mothers, okay? So there's lots of different aspects to her character. And I'll show you which quotes you can relate to these different aspects to her character, okay? Now, the first thing to remember is that Mrs. Johnstone, in terms of her persona and how society sees her outwards, is she is somebody who suffers from a lot of judgment from outsiders, okay? Outsiders look down on her because of her class. Outsiders look down on her because she wasn't able to control her sexuality. Hence, she ended up having lots of different children and not being able to look after them, okay? And even this quote, the mother so cruel, her, there's a stone in her heart. It's almost kind of like the narrator playing up on this, this idea that she was so cruel to give up one of her children who she wouldn't have been able to look after anyway, okay? So Mrs. Johnston really suffers heavily from very harsh criticism of outside society. Now, the other quotation, or rather the other aspect to her character, even if she suffers heavily, is we can also see Mrs. Johnston as quite an optimistic character. She still believes in a better tomorrow. And this is shown through the quotes when she states, especially when they learn that they're going to be rehoused, she thinks they're going to be new beginnings for her and her family. She states, oh, bright new day, we're moving away, okay? And also when she tells her children, we'll live like kings, like bright young things. We can see here that Mrs. Johnston never loses her sense of optimism in spite of how difficult her life becomes. However, Mrs. Johnston is both what we would call also superstitious and easily manipulated, okay? She believes in certain superstitions which Mrs. Lyons is able to take advantage of and use against her in order to create a wedge between Edward, her son, and Mrs. Johnston, okay? Now, the quote that illustrates how superstitious she is, because also remember that she's not very well educated, is the quote that states, never put your new shoes on a table, ellipsis. You never know what will happen. And this is, of course, what she tells her children, okay? So Mrs. Johnston is quite superstitious, but of course, this superstitious aspect is very easily manipulated by Mrs. Lyons, because this is shown on the quote, you swore in the Bible. This is when Mrs. Lyons basically fires her and tells her that she can no longer see Edward. And Mrs. Johnston is horrified. She says, but you've broken your promise to me. You swore in the Bible that I would be able to see my son. And of course, we can see here that unfortunately, she's part of the poor working class who are also very easily manipulated. Another aspect to Mrs. Johnston's character is she does hold a very strong and heavy feeling of guilt, okay? She never really stops feeling guilty for giving her son away, even if she knew she would really struggle to look after him. This is Edward. And this is shown in the quote, you're always going to know what was done. You sold a son, of course. This is the narrator that states this, but this is illustrating the thought process that's going on through Mrs. Johnstone's mind. The other aspect of her personality, and of course also this illustrates the vulnerability of the working classes, is Mrs. Johnstone is also very poor and vulnerable. And this is shown through the following quotes. They say I should put them into care. And of course, this was illustrated early on in the play when Mrs. Johnstone realized her, st her small tiny paycheck as a cleaner was not in enough to give her children a good life and she was contemplating even putting them into care and also contemplating society's pressure to put them into care. The other quotation that illustrates how poor and vulnerable she is, is when her children say, I'm starving and there's nothing, okay? And of course, here her children are saying there's nothing to eat, we're starving, mum, you need to feed us, okay? And she can't feed them adequately because she can't make that much money, okay? She, she really has a very tiny, measly paycheck to cover all these different mouths that she has to feed, okay? So there's lots of different aspects to her character. She's a very judged woman. She, however, she's very optimistic. She's very superstitious, which means that she is easily manipulated. She's also heavily discriminated against, okay? So of course, when it comes to how the police treats her and Mickey, when he commits, you know, uh, the little crime of throwing windows, the police tells her, There'll be no more bloody warnings from now on, okay? So of course you can see here that as, as a working class woman, she's heavily discriminated against. Of course, also Mrs. Johnston struggles with her intense feelings of guilt and she is a woman who's very poor and vulnerable and we as the audience feel a lot of pathos when we're watching this play. So that's really it when it comes to different aspects and different quotes, especially to remember for the character of Mrs. Johnston.